So we worried about not being here tomorrow? You never know. I know. It's, it is, it's, it, it's actually very, very frightening. Um, you know, it, it just shows us how out of, you know, that we can't control everything. Yep. I, I highly recommend people run to the supermarkets right now and walk out with bagfuls of, of all sorts of stuff to make the. Oh, wait a minute. There's no more bags. Sorry. But, no, we, but they have to use reusable bags, Jeff. Actually, about that. <laughs> well, that's the first thing I was going to discuss. You know, there is a 30, 30 day grace period. Um, did you know that? For what? For the, um, the plastic bag ban. To the for, to impose fines. Well, they're not going to impose fines, but the fines wouldn't be imposed on the shoppers; they'd be imposed on the supermarkets. But they're right. doing it now; they're complying with the laws. Anyway, for now, right? No, but the the the, the state has has announced a, a thirty day grace period. So. Fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> but it uh, doesn't help people carry more carry more groceries out of the store. Well, the the interesting little detail about that is um, that the trade groups are looking for an injunction against this uh, bag ban. Well, uh, which trade groups? I mean, because a lot of trades are affected. Well, but yeah, some of the retail trade groups have, have uh, I guess, have filed suit uh, so that um, they can either, I don't know, walk this thing back or slow it down. You know, but the truth, I mean, I'm under the impression that for the most part, this the consumer sentiment is okay with the, with the, uh, with the end of, of the use of plastic bags. No, I'm not sure about that, but I mean, it depends who you talk to, I suppose. I mean, there are people who are, you know, th- for, this is first a surprise to them. They first heard about it only two, three weeks ago, and they're su- surprised that this is a thing. There, there are people who wonder, well, what am I going to do with all the plastic bags I have, and how come other plastic bags aren't involved with this? You know, it, it's, a, it's a bit more of an attack on one particular industry, it seems, rather than a solution to a problem. Well, I think that, you know, we, we, we are slow adapters to change, but I think, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of momentum to this, and we're not the first state in the nation to do this. And um, I think in the long run, we'll survive the plastic bag ban. Of course. <laughs> is this a part of, uh, I mean, is there something in, in Yeah, we had, well, we, we had originally, I mean, we, 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 you know, broke the story that this was coming down to Rockland County when the, when the county was co- considering it, and then the state acted uh, more quickly and, and passed the, uh, the ban. Um, Rockland County is um, n- not going to impose that, the uh, five-cent fee uh, on, the, on the paper bag. Correct. So that's, that's good news for Rockland County. Um, but uh, we, we, we reported on this again last week, but also today, um, just an update about, as I mentioned, the grace period and also the trade groups um, filing an injunction to try to, I guess, reverse this or walk it back. So people can look at RC Biz Journal and see that. Um, I was also going to talk about Another thing that could bring um, a, a pretty big sea change at, uh, to Rockland um, if, it's, if it continues on the path that it's on. Um, the, uh, the news from last week is that um, Stony Point has um, authorized the sale of Letchworth Village and the golf course right. to Raja Moore and his team of um, developers. Right. who are trying to turn the 26-acre property and the golf course um, into a luxury resort. Um, Mr. Amar mentioned, and we, we quoted him, that he's been in talks with properties such as um, Ritz-Carlton and the Four Seasons, uh, and he's confident that we will get, well, that Rockland will see a five-star hotel in, in, in one day. Um, that would be a game changer for this county, I, I think. Um, it would certainly uh, be a game changer for tourism here, which is something that we talked about extensively last week and for many, many months. Um, so he, um, the Sony Point has, um, they, they authorized um, what's a $3 million sale. Now that seems like so little, but um, he's got to... Uh, demolish all those uh, asbestos-laden buildings. And clean them up first, right. And he's got to put in a lot of infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be um, a very complicated project. Um, I don't know, you know, uh, how long something like this will take. 
Um, but I think for people in Stony Point who have dealt with um, Murant and, and all of the other, um, you know, tax drains, uh, that a major rateable um, could, could be good news for uh, Stony Point, and I think that a, a five-star hotel could certainly be um, good for Rockland County. Um, what was I going to just say? Yeah, so, so that's, um, that, that was, that, that's pretty, pretty interesting news, I, I think. We're going to definitely watch that. Um, we had a little while back, we did a story about uh, a growing hotel sector here in the county, um, and uh, you know, not not to not to add panic to this or anything, but you know, if we do have a, a global slowdown, um, if people are afraid to travel, I mean, I guess that can affect every single sector and uh, tourism included. Um, but um, you know, I, I guess we, we we're seeing this more as a uh, a, a crisis, uh, a blip, as opposed to you know something that will change the way we exist. I don't know. They seem to be putting the 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 Olympics is uh, could be affected by this as well. No. That's not till summertime. No, actually, I I had read that they closed down the Louvre in in Paris, and um, they they've closed down the schools in Japan for a month in order to right. hedge against the possibility of having to shut down the Olympics, which would be the first time since uh, World War II, I, I think it was. Um, so. No, I mean, we're, we're looking at a very, very unknown, you know, it, it's, uh, for example, you know, if you just look at the stock market alone, I mean, you know, the Fed has been able to, to, to manipulate and play games and lower interest rates, but, you know, what do you do about a virus? It's, it's not the same kind of thing that, that we can control. It's not, it's not an economic, um, it's not something we can manipulate economically. It's something that we can only react to. And react they have. Well, it's we're just in the beginning, so yep. it's it's, uh, it's jittery. I mean, you know, you feel jittery. I, so, have you guys stopped shaking people's hands when you meet them and see them? I never I, did, so it doesn't matter. I haven't <laughs> stopped doing that. No. All right, so you're not in. You have. But I'm but I'm looking more closely at people at uh, like lunch counters or or uh, the, uh, there was someone posted a video on on Twitter to try to ease people's fears about viruses was the point. Yeah. But he, because, you know, because of the way people in the media are reacting to coronavirus, it makes you think that, oh, viruses have never been around. So somebody posted a video on Twitter where it shows a guy at one of these, um, like a buffet style eatery, and he's ladling soup into his mouth yeah. from the ladle into the soup, a couple of sips, ladle to soup to mouth, soup to mouth, and he puts the ladle back in the soup dispenser and he walks away. Like some like to go to the next station. All right, I'll grab some chicken wings over here or whatever. That happens probably all the time and more than you even realize. We're, we're we're in a pool of other people's you know sneeze guard protections at the at the at the salad bar that may not always protect against the sneezes. So Ooh, that's the point. The point being, don't panic, people. You've gotten more germs than you realize. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, I think I think that's true. Um, it is still gross to see that, though. <laughs> that's pretty gross. I mean, I, I guess, yeah, I guess what I just I just don't understand. But what I have not been able to understand is, okay, so there's all this panic about enough testing kits, right? So then people are tested, and then what is the treatment? Staying at home and and treating it like the flu anyway. And basically not going around to other people who could be susceptible to it. Yeah. I mean, it's not a specific medicine if this is a virus. They don't have it yet. They're still first trying to develop it. They're working on it. But uh, I think Regeneron in Westchester is one of the companies that's working on it. Yeah, well, I hope they're working around the clock. Um, We hope. Yeah, but anyway, so I think uh, uh, that's the news of the day. So far. All right. And we'll see more of that news later on rcbizjournal.com. And it's refreshed all the time. And we've got links to, you've got links, of course, to these discussions as well. People don't hear them today here on the radio. They can hear them in your archive. And we appreciate that, Tina. Thank you very much. Okay. Talk to you next week.